the leap stakes for Donald Trump continue apace. Right now, leader in the clubhouse is probably Tim Scott. According to Bloomberg, Tim Scott is coming to New York to meet with President Trump in the middle of his trial. Plus, Ken Griffin and Bill Ackman are appearing with Tim Scott. He's slated to appear at that political event, including Ackman, Griffin, Mark Rowan. He is vying to be the VP candidate. It'll also include Mark Andreessen, Kellyanne Conway, and, Co- and Crown Quest operating LLC co-founder Tim Dunn, according to an invitation obtained by Bloomberg News. Scott obviously was a presidential candidate. He sort of flamed out early, but endorsed Trump also incredibly early. He's a very strong potential VP candidate for Donald Trump. Basically, everybody is making the trek to New York in order to get into a picture with Donald Trump to demonstrate some sort of loyalty to Trump. J.D. Vance is showing up as well. Some of the top candidates mentioned have been people like Marco Rubio, J.D. Vance, Tim Scott. There's been some talk about maybe Kim Reynolds from Iowa, even though she endorsed DeSantis, the possibility of trying to win over Iowa in that way with a Midwestern governor, Sarah Huckabee Sanders from Arkansas. There are a bunch of good choices that are on the table. The the good news is that whoever is the VP candidate for Donald Trump will face up against the least popular VP in the history of the country, Kamala Harris. So Kamala had an inspirational moment yesterday. It was so inspirational. She said the F word. It was really inspirational. I got to say, she may be the least inspirational figure in modern American politics. This This is truly astonishingly awkward stuff. When you walk in those rooms, oh God. being the only one that looks like you, uh, the only one with your background, you walk in those rooms, chin up, shoulders back. Chin, oh, my God. Be it a meeting room, a boardroom, a oh, courtroom, so many rooms. a hearing room. So many rooms. You walk Bathroom. in those rooms knowing that we are all in that room with you, oh. applauding you on mm. and expecting certain things from you. Mm-hmm including that you will not be silent in those rooms. Mm -hmm. And that we expect that from you because we also expect that you will internalize and know we're there with you. And so your voice can be strong. This is part of what's Mm -hmm. involved, is that we have to know that sometimes people will open the door for you and leave it open. Sometimes they won't. And then you need to kick that door down. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, she's terrible. Oh, she's so terrible. Okay, so I I hate inspirational speeches from politicians because they're always crap. But this is like particular crap. I mean, look at Kamala Harris's political history and tell me this is a lady who kicked doors down. There are other ways that she obtained power, Kamala Harris. Willie Brown comes to mind. Um, her lecturing people, like, we're all in the room with you, Mimi, with the hand motions and everything. Oh my God. Can you imagine this as president of the United States? Again, this is the thing that's amazing about team Biden and the Democratic Party in general. They could have replaced him. They didn't. They could have replaced her super easily. She's deeply unpopular. Her favorable ratings are just awful. I mean, like the worst, as I say, in modern American history for a vice president. Her approval ratings right now, She has an approval rating of 38.2%. Those 38.2% are people who, like Helen Keller, are blind and deaf. Because anyone who spends five seconds watching Kamala Harris immediately turns against her. She's awful in every respect. So whoever Trump picks, just pick somebody who's credible and they will blow Kamala Harris out of the water. We'll get to more on this in just one moment. First, once again, Pure Talk is investing in their own customers with their own money without charging you an extra penny. I'm happy to announce that Pure Talk is now providing international roaming to over 50 countries. As you plan your summer travel, make sure your wireless provider has you covered at home and abroad. Pure Talk already puts you on America's most dependable 5G network. Now they're offering coverage in over 50 countries as well. Enjoy the freedom of unlimited talk, text, and ample 5G data for just 20 bucks a month with Pure Talk. This is a deal that's hard to beat, costing you less than half of what you'd pay with other networks. Not only is their U.S. customer service team ready to assist you with a seamless switch, they also have fantastic savings on the latest iPhones and Androids. Ready to make a smart switch? Join my cell phone company, Pure Talk. Start saving today. Visit puretalk.com slash Shapiro to explore their offers. When you make the switch, you'll enjoy an additional 50% off your very first month of coverage. Don't miss out on the opportunity to save on wireless at home and abroad. Visit puretalk.com slash Shapiro. Again, that's puretalk.com. Dot com slash Shapiro today. Use the same coverage that I've got. PureTalk.com slash Shapiro to get started today. This attempt to get Donald Trump in this trial in New York 
is an absurdity. Everybody knows and it's, it's an absurdity. They brought out Michael Cohen to have a bombshell moment. So Michael Cohen is his former lawyer and he says that Donald Trump called him up with regard to Karen McDougal and then he played a tape in court about Donald Trump talking about Karen McDougal and paying her off, another former Playboy model who he had sex with. And then he suggested that Donald Trump did it for electoral purposes. He didn't do it because of Melania. And in fact, when asked about Melania, he said, I don't care. I can always get married to wife number four. Now, maybe all that's true, or maybe it's not. It doesn't matter. This is the type of payment that people credibly make with regard to a wide variety of payoff claims. Hush money is a routine thing in the upper levels of politics and business. It happens literally all the time. When Donald Trump says this is election interference, most people agree with that at this point. Here is Donald Trump. This all comes from Biden in the White House, by the way. And they have their top people here. Because he can't, when he can't put two sentences together, he's the worst president in the history of our country. Can't speak, can't walk off a helicopter, can't walk off a plane, can't walk off a stage. And the only way they think they can win is if they can do something with Trump. This is a Biden prosecution. It's election interference at a level that nobody in this country has ever seen before. This is for third world countries, not for the USA. Okay, President Trump is not wrong about all that. Meanwhile, CNN is just giddy on the see-me underside of this particular case, but no one else cares. Honestly, who, wh- like if you pull Americans on like, where are your top concerns? Donald Trump, Stormy Daniels, and Michael Cohen or inflation? These things don't even chart. The more they keep going after Trump with picayune bullcrap, the more it helps him probably. Here, here is CNN though, enjoying the, the see-me underbelly of Donald Trump's sex life. Michael Cohen said that, quote, Donald Trump wasn't even thinking about Melania. This was all about his campaign. And then he raised Melania to to Donald Trump. And Trump said, don't worry. How long do you think I'll be on the market for? Not long. Oh, wow. That's basically Michael Cohen saying that Trump was essentially arguing that if Melania Trump was upset over enough over this to leave him, that it wouldn't be a a problem for him. He'd find a fourth wife or fourth girlfriend that that's what it seems to be insinuating there that's how i read that uh, yeah it's a pretty that's... callous comment so it'd be interesting to see from our reporters inside how trump responds to that uh, i mean it is a question of how melania trump who has been paying attention to this trial i've been told by sources how she'll react to a comment like that from michael cohen where donald trump was saying not only am i not also worried about melania and the campaign i'm not worried about melania trump's reaction to this at all i'm only worried about the campaign. That is what Michael Cohen is testifying in front of the jury right now. Uh, who cares? Honestly, who cares? And as far as Melania goes, honestly, Melania got off one of the great lines of all time in response to her marriage to Donald Trump. Somebody asked, do you think he would have married you if, uh, did, did you marry him for the money? She said, do you think he would have married me if I was ugly? Fair point. Are you tired of the lies and the twist of the mainstream media talking points? Yeah, me too. Join me in my newest series, Fact, where I dismantle and bring truth to this tiring mainstream agenda. 